It was a little unfortunate because, in fact, there's no active development work on a tablet edition. Um, uh, what we are doing a lot of is working with companies who themselves are making innovative devices. And so what they do is they take Ubuntu, they take the core of Ubuntu, the kernel and all the infrastructure layers and some of the applications, and they use that combined with their own software to make a device. Um, some very cool devices like uh, uh, you know, video streaming devices and also tablets. Uh, and so there are tablets now being made that have Ubuntu components inside them, but it's not an Ubuntu tablet edition. And, and Chris wasn't very clear about that, I apologize. But as a result, you know, I think there's an expectation there that we will do it, that we're working on a tablet edition, which is, which is not true. Um, tablets are very exciting. I think they are going to be an important new category. But my sense is that um, the vast majority of the volume uh, for personal computing is going to stay, you know, clamshell form factor. Um, and so netbooks and notebooks are really our focus. Um, we're put, putting a lot of work into the netbook interface, into the new interface that we call Unity. Uh, we're working with the GNOME community and with the KDE community um, in, in the design and implementation of that. We you know, want, want it to be a sort of world-class, best of breed, real game changer for, for, for the netbook, for people who are shipping netbooks. Um, so that's the one focus for us. The other focus for us is, is making dual boot really exciting. So, so creating stripped down versions of Ubuntu, which we call light versions, um, uh, not L-I-T-E, but L-I-G-H-T. Um, and those are really focused on getting to the web really fast, you know, on, on, on fast hardware with SSD, less than 10 seconds, you should be booted, connected, surfing. Um, and that's a, that's a really exciting challenge. And so those two areas are where we, we're focusing our energy. Uh, there's a lot of excitement around tablets now because of Apple's great work with the iPad, but that's not a focus for us at the moment. You'd buy, you, you would buy an, a machine that would have Windows on it and Ubuntu, yeah, and, as a standard out-of-the-box configuration. And there's good reasons for that. Um, you know, Ubuntu is very useful for the PC manufacturers for doing hardware diagnostics and recovery. Um, also, uh, you know, it's a safe environment from a virus's point of view. Um, also, uh, it boots much faster, so if you want to get to the web, you know, it's safer and faster to do it with Ubuntu. So, uh, so I think there's some compelling value there and, and Ubuntu Light is being well received for that. Uh, we haven't announced any, any people shipping Ubuntu Light specifically. Obviously on the traditional desktop and netbook we've shipped now with, uh, with Dell. Dell. We have a really great relationship with Dell. They do, Dell. The Dell team really understands Linux now and they factor it into a lot of their processes. They're quite sophisticated with it. But we've also shipped um, uh, devices with Lenovo and Acer um, and uh, so th those relationships are, are, are broadening.